South Korea's defense minister called for more efforts to resolve the confrontation between the two Koreas and establish peace in the region. He was speaking at a multinational security forum, the Seoul Defense Dialogue 2021, which kicked off this week. Our defense ministry correspondent Kim ji reports. The opening ceremony for the Seoul Defense Dialogue 2021 was held on Thursday, marking the 10th year of the multinational forum of senior security officials. Due to the pandemic, this year's event is being held in person and online under the theme Borderless Security Crisis and Multilateral Response. South Korea's Defense Minister Seok, in his opening remarks, emphasized the need to fully resolve the inter-Korean confrontation that has persisted for the past seven decades and work towards establishing everlasting peace in the region. The government will work towards the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and establishing systems for peace and restrictions on inter-Korean military armament via close consultation with the ROC-US alliance and the international community. The minister also said the government continues to push forward its Korea Peace Process Initiative and the Inter-Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement forged in 2019 and that the military supports diplomatic efforts for denuclearization. A congratulatory message was sent from the European Union Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell, who also underscored the combined efforts for the establishment of peace on the peninsula. On the Korean Peninsula, you can count on the European Union's support on the dismantlement of North Korea's weapons of mass destruction in a peripheral and investable manner. We continue to encourage the full implementation of sanctions, while at the same time we stand ready to lend our experience in finding diplomatic and multilateral solutions. We support international efforts to build sustainable peace and security in the Korean Peninsula and in the wider region. The forum will run for three days until Friday, covering Korean Peninsula issues, security in the Asia-Pacific, new infectious diseases and cybersecurity. Kim Jian, Arirang News.